Tutoring has become a crucial part of students' academic life today. In India, school children go for private tuitions. The higher classes see students joining coaching centers dedicated to competitive examinations such as Joint Entrance Examination for Engineering and NEET for MBBS. Then there are coaching centers for civil services examination and common admission test for management studies. With the adoption of online-based education, tutoring has also expanded into the digital world. Startups like Baiju's, Upgrad, and Unacademy are now household names. According to Grandview Research, the global online tutoring industry was estimated to be $7.69 billion in 2022. It is expected to grow at a CAGR of 14.9% from 2023 to 2030. India's online tutoring market, meanwhile, is expected to grow by $10.5 billion between 2022 to 27 at a CAGR of 17.03%. According to market research consultant Ibis World, the online tutoring services industry in the US was $1.9 billion by revenue in 2022. Since 2017, the market size has grown at a CAGR of 17.7% in the US. So how exactly does India's tutoring market compare to the world? K-12 market, rather K-1 to K-10, is highly fragmented. The other market is, for job entrances, very high competition, only 5% gets selected. This, are, this is a market where people are investing more. You can see there are institutes, the physical institutes whose valuation is more than $1 billion. So this is this case in India where physical institutes are gaining uh, high revenue through these coaching classes. So I'll say that the difference from the world is the competition market. If you see China, China has a tutoring market of $120 billion and we are still at $18 billion. The private tutoring market is a different story altogether. Although there is overlap with the online tuition market, especially after the global pandemic, the market was estimated to be $106 billion in 2022, according to IMARC Group. It is growing at an estimated 8.87 CAGR. According to the Annual Status of Education Report Survey of 2022, 30.5% of all students between Standard 1 and 8 in rural India took paid private tuition. In 2018, the share was 26.8%. On a countrywide basis, how common is it for an Indian student to take tuition, especially in comparison to other countries? Arihant Jain of job tech startup Seco shares a perspective. Data that I have seen has shown that anywhere from 62 to 76 percent of students are often enrolled in tutoring. This is often this is a much significantly higher number than most countries and is often attributed to the quality of education that is otherwise prevalent. It is only in India where you have a, a model such as the quote unquote quota model. This quota model means that they essentially give up higher school education only to focus on competitive exam tutoring. The pandemic-induced lockdown aided transition of education from classroom to online mode. According to Traxon, at present there are 11,470 edtech startups in India. The most valued of them is Baiju's, which was founded in 2011. In an expanding market, how are edtech companies disrupting the tutoring market? What challenges do they face? Through online platforms, interactive materials, video lectures, and personalized tutoring sessions, these edtech companies can cater to very different and diverse student needs. The COVID-19 pandemic essentially accelerated the adoption of online learning that perhaps hasn't happened in the last 10 and 20 years. The fundamental problem that we are trying to solve is that the job market moves much faster than the pace of education or education institutes. And that delta is what leads to a difference in how, um, you know, how ready any person is when they enter the job market. Uh, roughly 80% of people who graduate from higher education in India are simply not employable because of this gap. India's tutoring market is highly fragmented, especially at K-12 level. Experts say this is an opportunity for edtech companies. The exam preparation industry, on the other hand, is unique to India. However, the overall tutoring market of the country still falls behind China. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard 
For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. She has ambitions of becoming a brand. Business Standard.